So how you doing? We're over here at Direct Auto. How you doing? We're gonna go ahead and review this. This is gonna be a quick drive. So I've heard a lot of things interesting about, you know, this new Supra. Uh, frankly, I haven't really been a huge fan of it and I uh, wanted to check it out here. So I just saw one of these actually on the drive over here and I gotta say it looked pretty darn good. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and check it out and see how this thing drives. Now, my impression of this car is that it's basically a BMW that is pretty much a Toyota or is it a Toyota that's basically a BMW? I don't know. I just know that they've shared a lot of parts together, right? So cold start, you know, take it or leave it on the sound there, I'd say. Uh, sounds a little bit like a six cylinder with no bottom end, but what do I know? All right. We got low fuel, so we're gonna go ahead and, I think we got low fuel. Ooh, a little backfire there, that's cool. Okay, right off the bat, you get the BMW shifter. <laughs> so, you know, this is supposed to be a Toyota, right? And they give you a BMW shifter. It's just, it's wild, you know, how much they shared of the DNA together. I mean, I had no idea that a Japanese company and, you know, a German company were like this, but you know, whatever. I could say it's got a very fast dual clutch. I mean, very tight. Steering is extremely precise. Feels like an extremely modern car, no doubt about it. Just right out the gates, right? Brakes are really bitey, but pretty good. All right, this is gonna be a drive to the gas station then. <laughs> oh, looks like this one might have a custom sound system in it too. That's cool. I highly doubt that's stock, but I will double check. Will be a little thing that comes over the video here saying, yes, that's stock. All right, so first impressions, you know, tight steering, pretty, I mean, this, this definitely feels like a sports car. It's got good visibility though. I like it from that point of view. All right. I don't want to go crazy. Wow, it's in seventh gear. Wow, the dual clutch is amazing. I mean, look at those shifts. You know, BMW, if it is the BMW transmission, is truly one of the best in the game. As far as engines, you know, as far as the, uh, the different transmissions, I'm not saying it's as good as Porsche's PDK. I still think Porsche PDK is number one, but BMW and McLaren are right there. Uh, I would say in, in second place, you know, and then Mercedes is also right there too. I mean, they're all so good these days. All right, let's see if there's like an, a sport exhaust button or something, because this thing is way too quiet for me right now. There it is, okay. So, it's got a little bit of grumble, a little bit of backfiring. Yeah, all right, this car could be fun. This car could be a little squirrely. All right, it's, it, right now it feels slightly underpowered to me, but, you know, again, this is literally the first time I've been in it, so let's get some gas, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get it up to 6,000 RPMs. Just gonna do a little walk around while I'm getting some gas here. You know, I really like the wheels. I don't know if you guys can see them, but look at that. They're two-tone red calipers. I mean, this is actually a really nice spec on this car. I, I, I do like it. Check out the headlights. Good looking. You know, I, I do like this. The only thing is, it's not freaking reels. It's, it's you know, Fugazi, right? Fugazi, it's bullshit. And it's for looks. That's the only thing about this car that I just think they, it's like, why, you know? If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna make the next Supra, you know, do it right. I mean, there is a lot I like about this spec though. Check this out, carbon fiber roof. I don't know if that's a wrap or not, but that does look pretty good. All right, All right. got my fuel. Don't have to worry about the carbon, oh. What are you doing, dude? Wow, I got 
gotta say, it's definitely fast. It's a little bit squirrely, actually. It's real wheel drive. It's definitely got a real wheel bias, I'll give you that. You know, but it feels good. It feels like a sports car, you know? It's fun. It's a fun little car. I could see why the reviewers that I've listened to about this vehicle, you know, the looks are a little bit off. It's not quite, it's, it's too much of a detour from the old Supra to this, in my opinion, right? That's what a lot of the guys have been saying as well. And then I also think that, you know, the engine being, you know, so little, I mean, look, you can't even see the stoplight. You have to like, you know, point your head up here and then you could actually see it. So just keep in mind, this is pretty darn low. You know, I gotta ask uh, Charles if that's a stock exhaust or not, but this thing feels dialed in. I gotta say, oh, that exhaust, it does it, it does sound like a six, you know, six cylinder. That's, I could consider that a negative, I guess. I mean, it's not a V12, V10, right, V8. Whoa, it just kept me in my lane. <laughs> How the hell do you turn that off? What was that? Is that BMW's, uh, you know, don't mess up technology? Because that was intrusive. If I want to switch lanes, I want to switch lanes. You know what? I gotta say, this is kind of fun. <laughs> I mean,. You know, it's not so powerful that you actually can't enjoy it. It's, it's, uh, you can run it out a little bit, you know? So one of, one of the negatives, uh, and this is just a personal preference. I know some manufacturers put it on the steering wheel, but I don't like the paddles necessarily on the steering wheel. I prefer them on the stock because, wow, I tell you, this thing, I gotta turn this mode off, but it will not let you get into the other lane if you don't indicate. That is wild. All right, let's try automatic and let's try it in sport mode, okay? All right, sport mode is on, there we go. So now I'm in sport mode. You can turn traction off, here it is, safety system. Okay, let's go to customize. You guys follow me here, customize. Customize settings, here we go. Front collision is early, lane departure warning is reduced. Yeah, let's take off steering intervention. That is nuts. Okay. That's gonna drive a driver like me crazy, okay? I like to drive my cars. In fact, I like a lot of old school Porsches and whatnot because you have to drive them and it's your ass if you lose it, you know what I'm saying? So. I gotta say, this thing's fun. <laughs> I mean, it, Look, it's never gonna replace the Supra, you know, the 2JZ twin turbo, 800 wheel horsepower, you know, massive, you know, single turbo that takes, you know, three seconds to fully spool up, but then once it does, it makes the most insane performance, you know, insane sound, right? Like this, the way they've engineered it, it, it just, it isn't that, you know, and, and that is a zonk. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. it. Like there was nothing wrong with that Supra, right? But here we go, we're in 2021. These, these things are actually holding their value now. They're, they, they were, initially they had a little bit of hype and then they just basically tanked. Like, I, I don't understand really what happened, but it seems like they were sitting on showroom floors. A couple of people that had, you know, that, that had basically gone early adopter, they, put, they bought them. But for the most part, you know, they just didn't seem that popular. So, now I think that I think Toyota got the message reduce production and the ones that are on the market you know for the most part I think are holding their value I think they've kind of got supply and demand and equilibrium right now interesting so it's holding that gear this is off this is automatic guys so I gave it a little bit of gas and then it held it You know, I gotta say, the transmissions are not quite as good as Porsches. It just, it's just not quite as dialed in. Like, right, it, it, it's like, do I wanna give them fuel economy or performance? It, it's, you know, again, it's all throttle control based, so if I were to, like, give it, 
half throttle, it'll kick over to let's go. But still, if I was manually shifting it right now, of course I would go ahead and kick it up one since I'm, but the car doesn't know what's going on, of course, so. Nice carbon fiber interior here. I like the paint here. I mean, overall, you know, this is a, a pretty good cockpit. I mean, this is all like cheap economy car crap. You have this like plastic leather here. So, I mean, they did give you this stitch, but it's fake. It's not actual leather, right? But overall, I mean, it's not a bad place to be. The seat's really, really comfortable. Leather condition is uh, is on the cheaper side, though. This this isn't this isn't like the uh, I don't know. Like BMW has really good leathers in their seven series and their five series. So, and then, and actually in their three series, if you want to pay for the premium package, I think. So again, it's still Toyota in some capacity, right? Like I, I highly doubt that's real leather. It feels like that kind of plasticky vinyl material. So, you know. It, one thing that Tesla nails is even though it's fake leather, it's still freaking good, right? It really is. Got a little bit of space back here. Yeah, but overall, you know, it's uh, it's kind of cool. Well, you know, I put 10 gallons in it and I almost filled up the gas tank. That's crazy. It must have a pretty small gas tank in it. All right, we're almost out to the country. The why I don't like the paddles where they are is because right now I'm in fourth but I wasn't able to downshift, right, when I made that turn because I can't find the damn paddle, right? It's it's already a, a good full re revolution above where it should be. Well, I gotta say, you know, I don't know if the tires just aren't warmed up yet, but it's a little squirrely. Like, it, 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 it moves. I don't know if you guys can see it in the steering wheel, but it moves back and forth, left and right, when you give it full throttle, which is fantastic. You know, it, it gives you that sensation of driving a performance car and a sports car. You know, I know a lot of people talk about the fact that they feel like this car was underpowered from the factory, and, and to be honest with you, it kind of is compared to most cars today, but that doesn't mean that's a bad thing. You know, more power means you unbalance the wheels, you know, it makes the car potentially a little bit heavier. You know, the bigger the engine block you put in it, the more weight you're gonna have up front in this particular car, because it's front engine. I mean, it's really mid-engine, all cars today are mid-engine they always put the engines behind the axles but still you can't beat you know the uh, the mid-engine car specifically so you still have a little bit of a front weight balance issue even though i'm sure this car is very very close to 50 50 like most of them are today it does feel really good very very balanced very balanced brakes are excellent i mean this is this is a great fun car you know I really I'm enjoying it but it's not it's not giving me the sensation that you know I'm in something special and I think that is probably you know just because it's a super right I mean it should be something special it really really should be you know I don't I don't really feel that confident to push it I mean I'm pushing it but I'm not exactly feeling like I, I should go 10 10 on the street there's a lot of other cars that I've reviewed on my channel where they really egg you on, right? This one says, hey, you can go fast, but, be, but watch it, buddy, you know? Of course, I really know this road now. I drive it a lot, so. All right, well, that's the, uh, the fun from today. We've uh, apparently run into a purple truck. <laughs> uh. You know, love it, man. Purple truck, badass. I'm assuming you painted your truck purple because I don't, I don't think that came from the factory like that. Very good. All right, you know, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, the value prop of this car. So you're looking at about, you know, mid 50s, low 50s which is uh, is pretty good, you know, as far as the price. I mean, it is quite a bit of car for the money. I'll give it that, but you also have to think about, you know, four, four mid fifties, what, what else could you get into? But I gotta say, you know, this is fun. I mean, it's, a, you know, if you like the look and you know, you're a Toyota fan and you like the reliability that that's gonna offer you. And frankly, BMW is pretty much as good as it gets to as far as engine technology these days. It's gonna be, it, this car should last you a long time of abuse. 
Well, I gotta say, I really like that exhaust. It's got a very, very good backfire to it. It also sounds pretty good. You know, it does sound pretty darn good. It's still a six though. God, I hate the truck drivers who take up all the space. Like, really, man? At least stay to your lane. I might be going fast, but I'm perfectly in my lane, right? Well, I gotta say, I mean, on a one to 10, not to go like all Doug DeMura on you, but on a one to 10, I would say this is probably, as far as a sports car goes, a solid seven. I think if you put, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars overnight parts from Japan, whatever the joke is, right? I think you could make this car a solid nine. I really do. This has got all of the makings of a great sports car. You know, you're gonna have to deal with the turbocharging, right? Unless you just want to drop a big, you know, crate V8 in it, which would completely unbalance the car. So really. You're gonna, I mean, this is always gonna be a turbo car to pull the power out considering how small and light it is, but that's okay, you know? The turbos, I'm, I'm feeling hardly any lag. And I will tell you, you cannot hear them at all. You can't hear the turbos at all, at least not, not with the AC blaring like this. And, you know, I'm sorry guys, but it is, I'll turn it down a little bit because it's cooled off now, but it is so damn hot today. It's just humid, really. I mean, you, you just can't do car reviews in Tennessee all right, sorry, I missed the turn there. Let's get back on here. That's my phone, by the way, that's rattling around. So you can see the trash control, it came up there. So, you know, it's saving my ass. I think if I turned it off, boy, I also will say once the trash control, it locks the, uh, it locks the seat belt. All right, that's full throttle. You know that's not bad guys that's 80 you know and I'm short shifting it I mean this is not my car so you know I don't want to cause any kind of engine harm so I'm shifting it just over five which is uh, you know a good 1500 away from its red line so you know you probably are giving up a few a few horses there but at the end of the day it's turbo right so really it's all about that linear torque curve between about 2800 and probably five that you're gonna spend most of your time in this car as you can see with my review uh, it's been like that and I, it feels it feels very comfortable by the way you know I always feel like I have plenty of power there you know I mean I could see why the, re the reviewers don't like the car right um, I could also see how everybody who bought this car you know why they bought it right there, there is something special here you know, it, it, again, it's it's not like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not world class in anything, but it's not bad at anything either. So it's just a good package, right? I mean, everything feels good. It feels tight, carbon fiber, good looking body, good looking exterior, good looking interior. I don't like the leather here, I already mentioned that. Decent sounding exhaust, pretty good performance. Brakes are fantastic. Suspension seems fantastic in sport mode. You know, overall, like there's a lot to like here, especially for the price. I mean, you're talking about $50,000. I mean, in, in really, I know to some people that's a lot of money, but in the car game, $50,000 is hardly a drop in the bucket, right? I mean, it's nuts. I mean, there's cars that you could spend 5 million on right now. And frankly, there's getting to be quite a few of them that you could spend multi-millions on, right? So the, the car game is amazing. Okay, you can't go to neutral by hitting paddles twice. Just so you know, that's interesting. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna just kind of get it back to the dealership now and then I might do a conclusion video, but you know, this guy's got a custom uh, sound system back here. I highly doubt that stock. Those, those look like tens. 10 inch subwoofers, possibly even 12 inch subwoofers. So I'm sure the sound system is incredible. You know, um, due to, low, you know, again, there's really no point in even testing the sound system in this car. Just, you know, come over to Direct Auto and check that out. You know, obviously Charles, if you're a good guy and you know, you're qualified, he'll let you drive the car for a test drive before you buy it. And um, you know, I mean, look, it's, it's a great car. I got nothing, uh, like I said, you know, I mean, it's good. It, it, it's this is definitely something and especially in this spec with the red brake calipers and everything I mean this is this is cool 
I think if you buy this car, you're going to enjoy it. But really, let's just talk more modern cars, you know, produced in the last five years. So, yeah, I think this is an interesting bet. Um, I do think the price of this car is going to stay pretty consistent. But, I mean, here's the thing. This has got 12,000 miles. I mean, it's it's pretty much like getting a new car. You don't, you don't, you know, the first guy already took a little bit of a depreciation hit. So, yeah, I mean, I think that this is a solid buy, i got to be honest. You know, the more that I drive it, the more that it's kind of growing on me. Uh, you know, you just got to get over the fact that it says Toyota, but it's basically a BMW Z4. I mean, that's, you just got to get over that. I, I don't know how else to say it. And yes, I could nitpick everything. Like, I wish these paddles were a little bit bigger, right? Um, I wish that, uh, you know, this had some other color contrast in it, right? Like, if they threw some red in it. See how you have this red right here for the, uh, behind the carbon fiber? Why didn't they put this, you know, a little bit of red accent here? Why didn't they put a little bit of red in the seat, right? That's all this car needed. I'm sure you could have spec'd yours like that. Um, but so interior wise, that's all I'd done. But beyond that and the leather quality, I think this is fine. This is a cool place to sit. I got plenty of headroom here. You know, I got good visibility. So yeah, overall the interior is good and the exterior is not bad. The only zonk is the fact that, you know, those, those darn little inlets, right? They're fake. I mean, that that just kind of grinds my gears. Like I don't want I fake. Want, why don't you make them real? I mean, if if you design the car like that, you must have designed it in a wind tunnel. You couldn't have found some strategic way of moving the air through the car to add more downforce. I mean, to me that just makes sense. Maybe they did it for emissions reasons, or maybe they just were like, you know what, we're just gonna go and design them, but we're not actually gonna make them functional. I, I personally don't get that. It, it, you know, as a manufacturer, you know, I'm an engineer at heart, right? So I wanna look at the car and be like, okay, how do I make it better without faking it? I mean, I, I just don't get it. You know, why would they give it those, those that design, but make those inlets basically not functional? I mean, you could have done something with the air, surely. You know, I don't know. I know because the car is not mid-engine that there's no reason to be sucking air through the side vents. I get that, but you couldn't have like maybe figured out a way to cool the tires or cool the brakes or some something interesting, right? Some type of an exhaust or pressure where it was able to pull the air through. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here, right? Um, so anyway, that's my only zonk on the X here. Otherwise, I like it. I mean, I don't like the fact that it doesn't look like a Supra, so I'll give it that, but I, I like it overall, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a good looking car. I saw one in yellow today on the way over here. I'll post a quick picture of that. You know, it looked great in that color. So it's not a bad looking car. I really like the design of it. I do think you're gonna get a lot of attention on the road driving it just cause it's really new. And it really looks modern. I'm not sure how this car is gonna age, but it does just look like a really modern car, you know? The way the, the, the way it has the uh, the overall hood and everything and the way the shape of the uh, fenders and kind of the real 911 almost like clamshell kind of egg shaped, you know, where I'm sitting right now cockpit. It, it's, got, it's got some really nice lines to it. Again, it doesn't really look like the original Super at all. I'll be honest there, so you could zonk it there, but overall, do you really care, right? I mean, I don't know. Just wanted to put this on camera for you. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, little driving portion. If you're looking to buy one of these, I'm, I'm sure this was somewhat helpful for you, at least I hope it was. You know, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, love, I love reviewing cars. I love producing car content. I love all the great friendships I've developed in Nashville and the car community and all the vendors I now work with. And you know, we just got such a vibrant, rich community here and we're so blessed. And uh, you know, if you guys come down to Nashville, you know, get on Instagram, send me a message, send me a DM, and hopefully we'll have a chance to hook up. You know, I'm always connecting people. It's one of my favorite parts. And of course, if you want to buy this car, go ahead and reach out to Charles, you know? He'll uh, he'll he'll make he'll hook you up. I mean, he's the, he's the man. He's he's so great to deal with. He'll take your car on trade, you know, he'll treat you fairly. Well, guys, here's the engine. You know, it's not much to it. Got to say. Not bad though. I mean, it's just you can't see anything. I guess there's no sex